theme just, doesn't it, just still gives you goosebumps when you hear it. And uh, one of the most amazing things about MASH is sure it made us laugh, but it was also such a very, very powerful drama and one of the most loved shows in TV history. Trappers! How many? Too many. We just got through with two days of casualties. Speak to the enemy, sir. MASH took us into the heart of the 4077, a military-filled hospital behind the front lines of the Korean War. Your Supreme Commander is going to inspect you. And he's going to find us just the way we are and what we are. Draft tea doctors, a little gamey and dazed from crawling inside people trying to keep them breathing. Sorry, Surrounded by the horrors of combat, the team of surgeons, nurses and soldiers turned to laughter to survive. And we laughed along with them. Radar, this is the biggest thing that's ever happened to me since I did my first strangulated hernia. One character took it right over the edge. Halt! Friend or foe? Corporal Klinger, isn't it? Right. Corporal Maxwell Q. Klinger wanted out. Bad enough to go for a Section 8. Sent home for being crazy. I'm a psycho, sir. I'm a nutburger, a jelly bean. I got more dresses than your wife. Clear. Those dresses were his trademark. The first one gave actor Jamie Farr quite a surprise. And I was ushered into this uh, trailer, and they had this woman's dress, whack dress, you know, women's army corps dress, and high heels and things in there. And I thought, gee, I'm dressing with a, with a woman. Boy, are they getting really liberal around here and he says no no that's yours put it on and i'm looking at him i'm saying what kind of a part is this the part was only meant to last one episode once klinger appeared on the set no one wanted him to leave huh klinger who goes a man's naked oh, come on klinger put on a dress or something at least a slip Klinger may have been desperate to get sent home. This guy's full of machinery. He was trying to eat a jeep. He a jeep. He shouldn't even be in the service. I love you. <laughs> but Jamie loved every moment with his friends on MASH. You couldn't ask for uh, more compassionate people, more talented people, better talented people. And Mike Farrell, Alan Alda, Whatever Harry Morgan, you. David Ogden Stiers, Larry Lindell, McLean Stevenson, William Christopher, Loretta Swit, every one of them, they were just the absolute very, very best to have worked with. Off screen and on screen, Jamie's famous nose was always getting a tweak. I don't know why. They, they made fun of my nose. I mean, I'm Lebanese, and when I grew up in my neighborhood back in Toledo, everybody had a nose like this. It wasn't until I got out of the neighborhood that I realized that you people that have small noses, <laughs> I was shocked. That's why the lady is a tramp. Bow, For 11 bow. years, MASH was a worldwide hit. Prince Charles was a fan. He even visited the set, asking especially for Klinger. I had worn a tiara on the show, a Klinger in, in an outfit that I had on, and I showed up uh, for the photo op wearing this tiara. So I gave it to him, presented it to have him put it with the family jewels, you know, <laughs> for the Queen Mother. <laughs> he got the biggest kick out of that. Then, the show that ran eight years longer than the war it portrayed was over. MASH, Goodbye, Farewell and Amen aired in February 1983. 125 million people tuned in. Well, boys, it would be hard to call what we've been through fun, but I'm sure glad we went through it together. There was barely a dry eye in lounge rooms across the world, or on the set. That week was horrendous. And when that ended and he said, cut, that's a print, and that's a wrap, people went crazy. There was so much crying going on during that entire week. And the irony was, after all his crazy attempts to go home, Klinger stayed behind with his new Korean bride. Today, Jamie's at war with his putter. Oh, it's a flag. Oh, no, gee, no, man. No, no. He loves his golf. Oh, Ooh. you just missed that. Even has his own LGPA tournament. Australia's Carrie Webb is a regular player. Yes. <laughs> he may be out on the course every second day, 
but Jamie hasn't retired yet. I have had 54 years as a professional actor of theater, movies and television, and I'm 72 years old, and I'm still going strong. I'm, I'm up for a pilot uh, for a, a new series. Hopefully I'll be back on the air and have a, a new character to entertain you with.